one. Booyah. There we go. Oh my goodness, guys. We are in so much trouble. Hey guys, I'm Luca Mundo, and welcome to Cosmeteer. Welcome back from a long hiatus. Uh, we ended up having some issues. So the last episode you saw, we had installed lights, a new feature from a new update. Unfortunately, that update corrupted my save file. So I've had to jump back here just by one episode. Uh, now the lights still are in this particular environment here. You can see the exterior lights. Now before, these lights also took in power. And we're going to notice that this light now, it isn't requiring power. See, it's already glowing. Um, unfortunately, that broke my game. So I've had to kind of jump back. And so I just haven't dived back into it for a little while. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to recap where we are at. Let's first head to the galaxy map here. There we go. Uh, and we have gone back and forth. I think we're headed down to tools, I'm going to call it. And so I'm kind of thinking that we should head to tools. Uh, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Actually, you know what? No, we traveled to tools last time. Let's go and let's see how we, oh, that rotation is terrible. My goodness, you got, oh, come on. Oh my goodness, I'm so gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Sorry, turret. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head to the Theta system. There we go, we made it. Let's go ahead and slow down to normal speed here. Ooh, a target area. Let's see if we can take this guy out. All right, three contacts, fantastic. Now, wanna make sure that these particular weapons are ready for defense and offense. Good, attack and defend, good, good, good. Uh, and they're incoming, so we're gonna go ahead and try to take them out. Excellent, let's turn and get this guy. You, go up and hit him. Ooh, we can chew him up pretty well, especially with our mining laser. Hit him from the back. Nice, 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 nice. Hit his reactor. Oh, fantastic. And let's make our way to the first station, the Quotoho Station. All right, perfect. We've got an incoming. Let's go ahead and let's face him. Uh, actually, let's head over this direction. Whoa, he looks a bit ugly. Yikes. Let's actually pause here for a sec. Let's get a tactical nuke ready. Uh-oh. Uh oh, our factory ship, you need to, you need to scoot around, come on, come on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tactical nuke him, fire at target, and we are going to pinpoint that target right there, fire. Boosh, oh, booyah, yes, have some fun with half of your ship gone. Okay, we're all set, let's head up to the station. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we visited. Let's go ahead and accept all of these wonderful bounties. We actually did one, uh, the Renegade pack right at the beginning, which was pretty cool. Uh, now, what do we want to do? I'm kind of thinking, guys, I want to make a broadsider. And what I mean by broadsider is I want to make a ship that you literally pull up to the side of another ship and it just opens up these overwhelming cannon shots kind of my 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 thinking you know uh now can we afford we're only at 400 fame uh can do we not even have all of our crew yeah so we could only hire two more at best wow this guy's actually hitting me so we ended up engaging one of those other renegade packs but he had these disruptors, which are super cheap in my opinion. They they do so much more than they should, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can repair. Let's get our crew back in there. I don't know, we might have even lost some crew. Let's check it. We did, we lost one crew member, unfortunately. That is very unfortunate. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's go harvest all of this stuff up and uh, we'll get some of this back. All right, we are running low on ammo as well. That is not good. I didn't realize we were so low on ammo. Do we have any ammo being created over here? I do not. We're gonna have to go and do that on this episode. We're gonna head back to the station. We're gonna go ahead and get some ammo here and I think uh, I'm gonna try to figure out my next upgrade for my main ship, the SS Invictus. Let's see what other guns we can get. We can do 
Rail guns, flak batteries, deck cannons I thought of. Guys, you know what? I am thinking deck guns. Let's go to Blueprint and let us see what we can do. All right, guys, there it is. So this is what I actually want to do. I want to put four deck guns right on the front with some mining lasers for some extra support for close range combat. We are still going to keep our uh, nuclear silos, if you will. I think I've got enough crew to fit this. I don't know what to put in the center, but I also want to go ahead and put in some moving walkways. I think that that's important to make sure that guys can get back and forth. I might even go ahead and grab all of this stuff right here and nudge it down. All right, there it is. It is going to cost a whopping doozy of an amount, but that is what I want to go with. We are going to have two engine rooms, enough crew for both. Uh, two reverse shields that'll protect most of the engine area other than the very sides, which I will have to worry about. A super heavy front. I think the Invictus should have an intimidating armor stat. So that's what we're going to go with in the future. So let's go ahead and let's see what we can do for now to collect a bunch of that. Okay, so one of the things I know we're going to need is a lot of tri-steel. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly how to produce tri-steel. Let's try to figure that out. Let's go to our factories here. Uh, let's see, steel, tri-steel. Wait a minute, hold on a second. This looks like the same machine. It's called a steel smelter, whereas this says a tri-steel smelter. So, I think they're a teeny weeny bit different from one another. It does get some production bonus being next to other items. So I'll just probably put it over here at some point. Let's pop on blueprint mode. Let's stack that there. Uh, and then we'll run back to the base. We'll grab the money so that we can start producing our own try steel. Ooh, a pirate hunter. Let's head toward the pirate hunter first. Kind of, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, to be honest, I'm a little bit concerned that I, I might not make it um, because this ship does need some upgrading. But we'll use some tactical nukes. Looks like he might be headed toward this stomper anyways. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We are getting pounded a lot. We are going to initiate a fire at will uh, and and just, just open up with both. Open up with both. Yes, launch two missiles and booyah. There we go. Oh dear. Oh, oh my goodness. What happened? All right, emergency time. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of all the flames. Oh my. Wow. Uh, that was really bad. I think I lost more than half my crew. Well, this is why I was very worried. Um, so let's go ahead and repair as much as we can. Those flat cannons tore me apart. Look at this. I even have, uh, <laughs> I even have a gigantic hole where the reactor is missing. Uh, we're gonna have to go back, and we are going to have to uh, try to try to limp our way back. I mean, thankfully we've got full engine control. That is that that is really good. Uh, yikes, that was really bad. Let's go ahead and see if we can repair the rest of the way. 10 grand to repair. We lost a ton. I am so not happy with that. Let's go ahead and pause. Let's go and let us uh, try to hail this guy here. See if he has any tri-steel. He does. I mean, we need to get as much as possible. Let's go to our blueprint. Uh, so yeah, so we've got a lot. We need more tri-steel. We need 118 we do need a lot more normal steel, and we just need a lot of money. Um, so this is not good. Uh, that was a really bad hit. We took a huge hit, but we did survive. Thinking of doing another Renegade pack, but I'd also like to see if there's a graveyard around, because graveyards would be awesome. All right, let's head over here, and let's see about this Renegade pack over here. It'll be super easy. We'll take out his cockpit in just a couple of shots once we start hitting there we go, and he's down. Let's go ahead and target that guy. And let's get this guy on the last one. I'm kind of concerned that this guy is actually going to be hard for us. Well, no, actually, no, he's easy. That guy's easy, too. He's kind of that crab look. He's just chewing up our, our main armor there. All right, we're going to engage. We're also going to be getting ready with our tactical nukes. Yep, we are definitely going to have to hit him with two tacticals. Uh, let's go ahead and get that first nuke away. Uh, let's go ahead and get that second nuke away. 
Uh, there we go. Please, please hit. Please hit. All right, we were able to hit that. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, tactical nuke, please, 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 please fire. Please fire. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Wow. That was actually another really bad one for us, but thankfully, uh, we were able to defend it off quite easily, quite easily indeed, uh, with just those tactical nukes. They have changed the game for us for most of this. I cannot wait, though, to upgrade to that monster ship that we have plans for. What do we got coming in? Ooh, another pirate hunter. Yikes. This might be a little bit of a challenge. We're going to have to go and see how it's going to work out. We'll use a tactical nuke on it because I am worried. Yikes. Oh my goodness. I am not prepared for this. Look at that. It's already destroying things. Uh, okay. Tactical nuke time. Let's go. Uh, we are ready for it. Let's go ahead and engage. Let's uh, let's just fire two nukes right away. And boosh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yikes though. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Let's let's get our factory ship in there. Let's uh, let's try to come in between here. Hey, we did it. Okay, uh, that was good. Uh, yo, man, guys. Uh, I mean, I I'm not liking it. We're only in the level four to seven range or six to seven range, and we are getting pummeled. Uh, that is just not good for us. No a okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's check out that blueprint. We are definitely on our way there. How much tri steel? We've got 10 tri steel here, and we've got another 30 tri steel here. Uh, now, can I build that tri steel factory? I cannot, because we need piper coils, and it takes a lot of them. Ouch. Oh, it's a ship graveyard. Fantastic. Let's go ahead. Oh, they're locked together. Oh, this is perfect. We'll go ahead and use one to shoot the other. Oh, it's gonna be, oh my goodness. We've gotta take out that rail gun right away. That is so not gonna be good. Woo, oh, thankful for those nukes that I accidentally used. That was awesome. All right, so we are back at the station. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to sell what we can. Oh, first, let's go ahead and receive that bounty. Then we'll go ahead and we'll look. Now, there is, ooh, there's more tri-steel. Let's go ahead and purchase all of that tri-steel. Uh, you know what, is there anyone else we can hail to purchase more tri-steel? Maybe, I don't know what's up here. Small point defense. What happened, did the station get moved? I, th I think the station got moved out of alignment because it's supposed to be in between these point defense and it's not. But the station isn't moving back, which is weird as well. Uh, okay, let's see. So, what do we need? We need 42 grand. We need only 139 tri steel, uh, but no one is coming. That's a bit of a bummer. We're gonna go ahead and head to the next station way up here. Hopefully, we're not gonna run into anyone. Uh, I almost kind of want to warp there, but we're gonna go this direction. We're gonna try to head there. And we're gonna see, oh yikes, look at that. He is tailing a bunch of people who are fleeing from him. Uh, we're just going to avoid that altogether. Yeah, that was, a, that was a bounty hunter for sure. Whoa, we are right in the middle of it. We're gonna camp right here for a minute. Let him go past. Wow, that was pretty bad. Wow, indeed. Uh, let's go here. Uh, no one bad here. We didn't have to uh, try to shoot any pirates that were attacking the station, so that's good. Let's go and let's see if this station has any more tri-steel. They do not. That is a bummer. Let's go ahead and recruit the rest of our recruited guys. There we go. Let's go back up here uh, and let's see what we can sell. So let's sell all of those. I mean, that's honestly, not, that's not a ton. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all those coils that I have. Another thing I'm going to be getting is more, uh, oh, oh my, uh... I don't know if that's enough power for the whole system. I I hope it is, M man. That might not be. That that might not be at all. I might have to rearrange this a little bit and put a second core up there that's a bit bigger. How about we do this? Let's scoot this down, scoot that down. Let us scoot those down. And we'll put in a medium right there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and we have five diamonds here. And how many do we need there? That takes eight diamonds. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. That way we can make our own tri-steel 
And that takes, uh, let's see, tritanium, which we're gonna have to start harvesting more of. Actually, I think I got some tritanium right there. Uh, or is that tri-steel? No, that's actually tri-steel, cool. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We have made it quite a long way into getting this next big beast, and I cannot wait for it, but that is going to have to wait. So thank you guys for joining me today on this awesome adventure of Cosmeteer, but I will see you guys on the next one. Later. Later.